Hello everybody. In this screencast I want to quickly demonstrate how we can measure correlation between two uh, data sets and I do that in Excel but it should work in uh, other programs in other spreadsheet programs as well. So first of all here is our data set so we have an independent variable and this is the variable that we usually plot on the x-axis here. So that's the independent and then we measure uh, something uh, that depends on this independent and that would be our dependent variable. So that's this one here and that is what we usually plot on the y-axis. So uh, we can do uh, this plot here and uh, here these blue dots, these are our data points. And we can see it's not a terribly good correlation, but we see sort of there is a trend, it goes upwards. And that means the higher the independent variable, the higher the dependent variable. So that's why this line, this trend line or line of best fit actually goes up. So what we want to do now is we want to determine the correlation coefficient, uh, which is uh, also usually denoted as Pearson's R. And in Excel you can do that very easily. So uh, what you do is you type in the equation, which is uh, equals. Every equation in Excel starts with an equal sign. And then you start typing uh, correlation. So correlation, and here we've got that already. So here, and it tells you uh, what we need to do. It uh, basically says it returns the correlation coefficient between the two data sets. So we click on that. Uh, we have to enter our first array. So that's the independent variable. That's this one separated by a comma. And now we do the dependent. That's this one. Close the bracket and we get a correlation coefficient of 0.88. Now this is positive, so that means it's a positive correlation and uh, it would indicate a reasonably strong correlation. Now that's only half of the story because, as I said, we can say reasonably strong correlation between the independent and the dependent variable. Uh, but we also need to figure out in a way, uh, just let me move this around. We need to figure out how trustworthy is, is this statement. Uh, are, we, are, we, are we sure that there is a reasonably strong correlation? And for that, we can calculate a p-value. So this p-value actually tells us how much we can trust this correlation. And although Excel has a function for doing that, when you go to data analysis, I want to show you a way how you can do that uh, if you don't have this data analysis installed. And you can do that uh, with uh, an online calculator. And all we need to uh, know for that is the number of data points that we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data, data correlations here. And we have the correlation coefficient of uh, 0 0.88. So what you can do is you just simply look for Pearson correlation to p-value. And the first one, this quick p-value from Pearson score calculator, uh, that's uh, quite a good uh, one. So here it asks you for the uh, r-value, the r-score. And we said that was 0 0.88. And we had a total of seven data correlations. And we uh, want a significance level. So we usually go for 0 0.05. That will be our confidence uh, level. And uh, all we need to do is press calculate. And uh, we get a p-value of 
zero point zero zero something like that. So I just quickly copy that and paste it in here. So this means that uh, we have a very low p-value and we can say in general a low p-value indicates, indicates that the result is trust worthy. Um, we usually would say if the p-value is lower than our significance level, so in this case it was 0 0.05, then we have confidence that actually our correlation shows something um, that we can trust. So what we need to do, whenever we do a correlation, we need to measure the correlation coefficient r and ideally we also calculate a p-value that uh, shows us how trustworthy this result is. So thank you very much for watching and I hope this makes sense.